Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, today I'm actually going to be talking about um, telling stories from different perspectives. I know it may be a very interesting uh, thing to discuss to a degree, but different perspectives can actually make a big difference. Examples of this are books. So for the most part, when you read a story, you usually read it from a third-party perspective, a third-person view. Um, a story that's told in a way where, like, he, she, they, them are usually the phrases that are used the most during the narration part of it. But then there are stories that are told from a first-person view, where these are common, but they're not as common as third of view ones. First persons, for those who don't know, are told with the words I, me, myself, words like that. For example, I went into the bar only to find that they were missing the one drink that I was looking for. So I left, yelling back at the bartender, no tip for you. If it was a third person, story, it could be told, Jerry went, walked into the bar in a rage. He looked over to the bartender only to see the words out of order on the machine. So he left in a storm, cursing out the bartender. Just from the two, you can already tell there's a major difference viewpoint. What about second person though? Well the reason I'm not bringing up second person stories is just because most of the time those are stories where it's a choose your own adventure thing. Which in that case it doesn't get the point across. So we're going to stick with first and third only. Now the examples I gave beforehand were very off the fly. That's why the first when I did the first person view it was very faint. So let me redo that one. I was getting very thirsty and hangry. So I decided to go to Jensen's Unique Bar. I never understood why unique was spelled E-U-N-I-K-E. -E. It never made sense to me. Regardless, I bypassed that given that my mind was entirely focused on wanting a drink. When I got inside, I looked over to where I usually sit, which was ironically right in front of where the bartender poured the drink. But it was a different person this time. Someone I never got along with outside of the bar. Someone who would always seem to bully me when off the job, apparently. I had no desire to deal with it. Plus, when I looked down, the drink I wanted was out of order anyway. So, frustrated and even more hangry than before, I left in a, in a rage. I screamed back at the bully who approached me during school and cussed him out because I knew this was the only chance I was ever going to get to do it. There you go. There's the two variations. You hear two sides of a story and you're like, oh, okay. Now, if you're telling it from the third person view, the third person tells it from, like, different outer sources. This could have been someone who was, like, it could be a good way of, a good, a very prime example of why the difference between first and third party views can make a ginormous, like, impact. You, we'd have to go back in time a bit. Does anybody remember uh, the adventures of Tom Sawyer or Huckleberry Finn? They were crossover stories, for those who don't know. And many teachers required their students to read it in schools, at least back when I was in school. I don't know how much that's the case anymore. 
but they crossed over each other because one was from the point of view of one individual, the other was a point of view from another. When you look at a, the same story and take the same approach, you can understand why it's very difficult to understand entirely what's going on when you only hear from one side. Everyone has experiences like this. Um, in fact, that's kind of what got me thinking to do this topic in the first place. Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. I randomly crossed... Um, I, I was looking for like something to try to maybe start up a different series with, and I came across the titles. I was like, randomly coming to my mind came the idea of perspectives which is what we're talking about now now how about a real life perspective well text is the perfect example when you text amongst a group of individuals depending on the point of view it's either easy to understand or downright impossible to pick up on. Why in-person verbal conversations are always better. Always, always, always. Either way, I don't know. It's kind of hard to pinpoint an, an in-person, a personal life experience. First of all, because I'd have to dig for it. But second of all, I'm not going to say anything that's going to cause any kind of conflict amongst others. This is actually why I used um, the examples I did. They're completely fictional, but they can be considered realistic. So I figured, you know what, let's use these. But what is the impact behind it? Well, I'm going to look at it this way. We'll pull back the example, the first example I used, of the bartender, the bully bartender, and the, let's call him a drunk scaredy cat, you know, just cause. If you heard from one side of that, you would figure that, like, let's say you heard it from the third party perspective only. What's going to go to your head? The details that the third party perspective shows is it talks about the bartender as if it's not really a detrimental detail of the story. But it does pinpoint that the vague information that someone walks into a bar, their drink is unavailable, so they leave and cuss the person out. That's all you know. But the first part, and I mean, there are other details that I could, could add in as well, but the first party perspective goes on and says the name of the individual. Well, it doesn't say the name of the individual. That's another detail. Third party does that first doesn't. But first party tells it from that individual's perspective anyway. Or it could tell it from the bully's perspective. The reason I'm not telling it, I haven't given that example, is actually just because of how deep I could go on that, which I'm not going to do. Either way... The first party tells you the information of why. The third party tells the facts. The first party tells the why. It's kind of interesting. When you hear things from both angles, all angles, perspective can do a lot. When you hear things from all angles, you get the major idea of what's going on as a whole, and you're able to take it in a lot better. That's actually why back in the day, again, bringing back the Tom Sawyer and um, Huckleberry Finn examples, there is a reason. And I may be getting that second name wrong, by the way, Huckleberry Finn. I think that's what it is. Tom Sawyer is definitely accurate. But there is a reason when back in the day when that was required, it was required to read one or the other. I read both because I got a bigger picture out of it. I got the idea of exactly what was going on. Any kind of feuds that had happened, I'd be like, this is the real cause. This person thinks it's this, but this person thinks it's this. It's the collision of these things doing this. It's easier to be able to confront things like that. 
but it becomes more complicated when a specific individual, like a reader, was to only hear it from one side, then approach the other side assuming that they know everything about it. That actually is the major reason why I started doing that kind of thing, reading both Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. There have been other books in the past that do the same concept. I've read them before, and I read it and go, hmm, that person must be bad. Then I'm told by another source suddenly out of the blue, no, you're wrong, what are you talking about? No! My brain goes, I, I, I don't know why I remember this detail, but my brain just would go, what are you talking about? I've read the book. Did you read the other one? No, I didn't have the desire to. Trust me, read the other one and a lot of it makes more sense. I go and read it and suddenly it's like, oh. Uh, that explains a lot. I don't know. Perspective from one side doesn't go very far, but if you look at it from every angle, it goes a long way. Now this kind of kicks into how I am, but I'm not going to talk about that today. I'm actually going to leave this video here. But, I don't know, what are your guys' opinion on perspective? Let us know in the comments below. Um, if you like these kind of videos where we, you know, discuss random psychological things, I guess you could consider this psychological. Uh, click the link on this side where you'll find a bunch of discussion rant type things. Um, if this doesn't always quite pull your boat and you want to find something that might be more of a different type of uh, video, whether it's a vlog or the gaming stuff that's on this channel, Click link on this side where you'll find something that you can think you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning into this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys all in another. See you guys later.